Hello, and thank you for your interest in Free Flow Core. You are on your way to automating your prepress activities. Core is a platform that allows you to automate the steps that you take to get a file ready to print. In this video, you'll be given an overview of the Free Flow Core solution. If you have a specific area of interest, we have provided easy navigation to allow you to jump directly to that chapter. And of course, you can always visit xerox.com slash automate to learn more information about Core. Let's log in and take a look at the software. As you can see, Core is browser-based. This means you can access the software from anywhere. Core was developed for a prepress operator to use, not an engineer. The drag-and-drop user interface is extremely easy to use, and the system comes with pre-programmed presets and pre-built workflows that will have you up and running in no time. Did you know that FreeFlow Core comes with a package of easy starts? These are files, hot folders, and matching workflows, all designed to get you up and running quickly. We will be utilizing the Easy Starts in this video overview, so if you have not already downloaded the Easy Start files from Xerox.com, we will show you how to do so now. If you have already downloaded them, you can jump to the next chapter. The FreeFlow Core Easy Starts can be downloaded and installed from Xerox.com. From the home page, you will navigate to Support, Support and Drivers, Software and Platforms, FreeFlow, FreeFlow Core, Support and Drivers, and download the FreeFlow Core Easy Starts zip folder. Unzip the FreeFlow Core Easy Start workflows and run the install.bat file to install the workflows and then reboot your PC. After downloading and extracting the Easy Start zip folder, the following resources will be available to you. The Easy Start files with resources folder on your desktop, the Easy Start hot folders, and all of the corresponding workflows in the FreeFlow Core software. The Easy Start file folder will automatically be displayed on your desktop, but you will need to browse to open up the hot folders. Go ahead and create a shortcut to your desktop. With both folders open, you will see that all of the files and hot folders have corresponding names. For example, Easy Start File 1 will be submitted into Easy Start Hot Folder 1 that in turn aligns with Easy Start 1 workflow on the core software. This incredible package gives you the live workflows and the demo files that go with them, allowing you to jump in and start using the software faster. Now that our system is all set up, we have installed our Easy Starts and logged into the system, let's take a look at what you have. FreeFlow Core is very user-friendly with its simple tab drop-down navigation. Let's start by looking at Job Management and Status. The Job Management and Status tab allows you to view and manage all of the jobs that have been sent through Core. This view provides a summary of ongoing work. You can filter your job view between active, completed, failed, and canceled jobs, or view all jobs for a complete listing. Here, you can also resume and resubmit or cancel and delete jobs. Now turning to the job list, clicking on the I expands job properties, so you can see more information about individual jobs. Here you will find a pre-flight report if the job was pre-flighted as well as the original and processed print file. In this example, a single business card was submitted to the system, and after the file was processed through Core, a multi-up print-ready file was created. Viewing these PDFs is the easiest way to test the results of your workflow without having to actually print the file. From here, you also have access to the first way to send a job to Core. The Core Job Submission Client allows you to easily browse and select your file. Then select the workflow and submit. It is just that easy. Core is a PDF-based tool but accepts other formats. You can see the list of supported files here. And please note that the variable data formats require an optional license module. The Workflow Setup tab allows you to build workflows that prepare your jobs for print. What does that really mean, you ask? We are going to take what you do today, the steps in your process, and automate them. 
With zero programming or scripting required, you will build your steps using our drag and drop workflow building tool. You can see here from the component menu the types of workflow operations that can be automated. There are a total of 23 individual components that will allow you to build and automate your most advanced workflows. By selecting a component like Preflight or Impose into your workflow canvas, you can configure and name your component based on your specific task or choose to use any one of the many presets that have already been configured for you. Once a component has been edited and configured, it is then saved as a preset. As a reminder, this is the full version of FreeFlow Core, so you will have all of the components available to you during the 45-day trial. If you decide to purchase the base software, only the Preflight, Impose, Enhance Image, Print, Finish, and Save components would be available to you. Workflow building is easier when you start with pre-programmed presets. The most common print operations are already programmed and ready for you to use. FreeFlow Core manages workflow configuration via presets, and a single preset can be associated with multiple workflows. Because of this, it is important to note that when a preset is edited, the update is applied globally to all workflows that utilize that preset. We know that not all shops do things the same way, so Core allows you the flexibility to customize the individual components and presets to align to your personal work process. Edit, copy, or create new. The choice is up to you. The workflow list contains your saved workflows, and if you have loaded the Easy Start package discussed earlier, you will see a series of workflows that start with ES. These are the Easy Start workflows. Similar to a preset, the Easy Starts come pre-built in the system, and you can edit them based on your needs. Let's take a look at how you can create your own workflow. By clicking Add, you will have a blank workflow canvas that you name. In this case, we will call it New Workflow 123 by easily dragging pre-flight and imposition components over to the workflow canvas. You can edit the component. In this case, we are going to check that the fonts are embedded and adjust the resolution and rename this component pre-flight 123 and click Save. Once you save the component, you will find the preset pre-flight 123 and in the workflow list, you will find the new workflow 123. These basic steps are your pathway to automating your processes. The Printer Management and Status tab allows users to get printer information, helping them to make better production decisions. Operators and administrators can add, copy, edit, and delete printer destinations. All registered printers are located on the left side of the screen. This window gives you a snapshot of the printer's status. The Workflow Printer Destination screen represents a connection to a specific print queue as well as a set of job ticketing defaults. You should note that each printer can be associated with multiple printer destinations. Print Status and Consumable tab gives you even more visibility by displaying printer status messages, available paper trays, finishing status, and even how much toner is available to you. This view allows you to get a snapshot of what is happening on the production floor. Adding a new printer is easy. Click on the green plus symbol to open the Add a Printer Destination window. Simply add the IP address and select Get Printer Info, and the printer type will automatically be populated. In this example, we are registering a Nuvera. We will name the printer destination and save the printer, and it will now be displayed in your list of registered printers. Let's quickly look at how we associate this printer to a preset that will be used when building workflows. If we come back to the Workflow Setup tab, we will go to the printer component and drag the print node into the workflow canvas. Right-click to edit the printer, name the preset, select the new Vera in the Printer Destination tab, and save the preset. Now when selecting the print component, the Print to New Vera preset is displayed and ready to be used. As a reminder, FreeFlow Core is not just for Xerox printers. 
while this tab is primarily used to connect to Xerox devices with an EFI or FreeFlow print server digital front end, we can just as easily submit jobs to a third-party device by configuring the saved node to route the job to a hot folder located at that device. Core is a PDF-based platform. So PDF out to a hot folder opens doors to multiple devices, including wide format, offset, inkjet, and even desktop printers. If you have any questions about connecting to a specific device, you can always submit your request to the Core Forum for support at xerox.com slash core forum. Okay, so how does this all work? We are going to use two of the Easy Start workflow files that come preloaded with the system. The first, ES1 Preflight and Print, shows a simple workflow to offload routine and repetitive tasks to FreeFlow Core. Jobs are automatically inspected, and those requiring attention are automatically identified and retained. If notification is enabled, selected users receive notification emails, thus eliminating the need to actively monitor FreeFlow Core job processing. We will also showcase Easy Start number 10. This workflow demonstrates how the FreeFlow Core approach to prepress makes automation simpler to implement and simpler to sustain. This workflow highlights how FreeFlow Core imposition helps simplify prepress automation. Instead of having multiple workflows or imposition presets for each type of card, a single workflow uses a single imposition preset to impose landscape and portrait cards with and without bleed on the most optimal press sheet size. FreeFlow core components are built to handle job variability. This simplifies implementation and sustainability of prepress automation. The Easy Start Quick Guide available on Xerox.com is a great resource to understand the settings that each workflow was programmed with to achieve the desired output. So if we jump back to the desktop and display our Easy Start files and hot folders, we will take both files associated with Easy One and copy and paste them into Easy Hot Folder One. As a reminder, if you drag and drop, you will actually lose the files and need to download the files again. For Easy Start 10, we actually have a zip folder that contains the PDFs that we are able to submit as well. This is the same process as before. Copy the zip file and paste it into the corresponding hot folder. Entering back into the core software, the Job Management and Status tab will display and status of all the jobs that we submitted into core. First, let's take a look at the files that we submitted to Easy Start 1. As you can see here, one of the files has been paused. This is because it did not successfully pass the preflight. Opening the job properties will allow you to see the preflight report as well as an annotated version of the PDF to highlight the issues. So now your operators have a choice. If they are okay with the file the way it is, you can resume the job and print it anyway or cancel the job until the file is fixed. Now let's take a look at the files that we submitted to Easy Start 10. The first thing that you will notice is that the zip file contained four files which resulted in four PDF files being processed by the workflow. What makes this workflow so interesting is that the same workflow leads to four different impositions. Core intelligently automates imposition decisions rather than using a static template. Be sure and take a minute to run this workflow and open up the processed files to see the different layouts, images per page, and even page size. So what does this all mean to you? Core's flexibility means that you don't need a workflow for every file size. The final tab is the Administration tab. This tab offers three choices, Hot Folder, Notifications, and User Access. The Hot Folder option allows administrators to create a hot folder and link it to an existing workflow. For advanced hot folder capabilities, please reference this section in the User Guide. We will not be covering these items in this video. The Notification Setup service monitors the system and sends out email notifications when a relevant event occurs. You are able to choose between job notifications, pre-flight notifications, as well as hot folder and or system notifications. 
The User Access Setup tab allows you to easily add or edit users. There are three access levels to choose from, Administrator, Operator, and Job Status Monitor. Please note that only users with administrative privileges may define new users or edit the status of existing users. As a reminder, the FreeFlow Core Help document is available in the upper right-hand corner of your software for you to get detailed information and instructions on setting up each of these options. When it comes to building a workflow, it is best to start with a single type of application or utilizing Core to lay out and automate the repetitive steps that you take to prepare a file for print. Using a combination of the components and the presets, we are going to show you how to turn a relatively basic workflow into a powerful dynamic decision-making workflow based on the pre-flight result. By adding the route component, we can program any job characteristics that you would like to decision on. In this case, we are going to decision based on pre-flight success, warning and error, and add each of those conditions to the table. Once that is saved, the software builds out the individual swim lanes, which are displayed in the order they were added. By hovering over the route component, you can see each branch condition. The all other branch is added because the job always has to have somewhere to go if the conditions are not met. In the case of a pre-flight success, Core can go ahead and lay out the business cards and print the file. If you receive a warning, you may want Core to try to fix the file. If we drag over the optimized component, you can apply the necessary fix-ups and route the job all the way back to the beginning to be resubmitted. In the case of an error, you may want to notify your pre-press manager. And in branch 4, we have a larger error, so you may want to send a message to the core administrator who will also need to notify the pre-press manager. Now in the case of business cards, a lot of people would like to group jobs together. Core doesn't have to be just a first-in, first-out system. It understands groups of jobs and can look at batches of jobs and actually collect the jobs. Simply drag in the collect component and edit your preferences. In this case, we can edit the time of day for 4 p.m. on Monday through Friday and save that component. You now have a workflow that does a basic pre-flight check for your business cards. Based on the outcome the file is decisioned, they are held until 4 o'clock and all run together, with multi-up imposition to the printer that you have selected. In the case of a warning, Core will attempt to fix the file and resubmit back through the workflow, or we will notify all necessary customer service reps and Core administrators of an error. Once you save the workflow, it will then be displayed and available in the workflow list. Thank you for your interest in Free Flow Core. We hope that this video helped to provide you a better understanding of the value of automation and how Core can help you get there. If you would like to continue to learn more about this solution, please visit xerox.com automate, where you will find additional information regarding Core, like the product brochure, how-to videos, as well as a trial download of the full version of the system.